Hi, it's Brittany, and I think this is Vlog 17. Isn't that sad? <laughs> no clue. Um, it'll be marked correctly. So, as I tell you, pretty much now every video, I try to sit up straight. How's that? Top of my head's cut off. All right, that's good. Um, subject to today's video is. Um, Okay, so hang on a second. I'm looking at subjects. This is things that people send in. <laughs> you must think I'm just looking at air, right? It's not. It's for real. So this person asked me to talk about gender pronouns and names. How to correct people without pissing them off. Get it? Okay, so one more time. Gender pronouns and names. So it's like he, she, that kind of stuff. Uh, and what they call you, whether it's Bobby or Barbara or Brittany or whatever, you know. So, with it, without pissing them off, because these people may know you. They may know you for two years, five years, ten years, forty years, twenty years, whatever, okay, since you were, you know, knee high to a grasshopper or some ridiculous um, Midwestern expression like that or something. I don't know. Okay, so... Uh, <coughs> excuse me. Uh, I have relatives, including uh, a stepfather who I love. Um, I couldn't have done any better. It's, he's awesome, you know. So, but he still says he this and he that, and he still sometimes calls me by my boy name and stuff like that. And my mother does it and. Uh, occasionally the lady that does my laser hair removal does it, um, people do it, you know, I'm on the phone and I'm talking to whoever and they say sir or something like this, yeah, it rankles me, it drives me out of my mind. Um, I have like this rule, at least with people that know, um, somebody at work, uh, someone in your family. I, I call it the one out of five rule. One out of five. One out of five. Okay. So for every five times they say Bobby or he or Mr. whatever or something like, you know, still thinking you're a guy um, and you're not, you know, guys don't look like me, but guys sound like me to some degree, you know. Um, I have friends that I haven't seen in years who I've talked to on the phone and now know that I'm transgender because I was open with them and told them. And unlike a lot of to a lot of girls who just shut off all their friends from before, I'm not going to do that. And I did do that one time as I had transitioned before and come back. I was full time for over three years including all the goodies like name change and all that crap and yes I transitioned back and now I'm going back. So I'm on life number four, not one, not two, not three, but four. Guy, transgender female, back to guy, back to transgender. So for those of you still stuck on one life, tough shit. <laughs> uh, you should try four. <laughs> um, it has its ups and its downs. Just correct people one out of five times. Just real slow and real nice, you know, I just say, no, it's Brittany. Just like that, you know. Just call me Brittany. And you spell it, you can spell it out for them. B-R-I-T-T-A-N-Y. Now, you must wonder, oh, you know, maybe they don't want to spell my name. No, that's not the point. The point is that if you take a moment to spell it, it may make a better impression on them some point you can get it, you might want to ask them, okay, what's my name? You know, like that. But be careful with that because it can come across as condescending. So just try that method. Just take it slow. These people, they may know you for years. There are biological females who all of a sudden decide to change their name. I hate my boy name with a passion. I, I like, um, very fiery about it with, with my mom, it's just like your father insisted and all this crap and you know sometimes it's it's no one's fault it just turns out and, and I asked her well why was that just like well it's a religious thing you know you were named after this person so 
give people wide, uh, a lot, a lot, of, wide berth, a lot of latitude. Uh, be careful about how you react, when you react, when you correct them. Make sure it's with with a loving tone in your voice, and be patient. And, you know, be patient with them, and, and let that reflect in your demeanor, how you act. You'll have better better results. Over a period of time, you can correct them more and more, but just take it slow. Bye. That's the end of this. What did you call me?